Why did you end up leaving uh, the WWF? Uh, well, they brought me back after the Rhythm and Blues thing, and I, I did the finished up the Japan thing, and then he, and Vince brought me back, and it was really Hogan's idea to bring me back, but I went back to the blonde hair and stuff like that, and I started working with Dino Bravo, and um, worked with Dino probably about six months, and then build up to WrestleMania seven. And I worked with Earthquake. Now, I knew I was going to do a job with Earthquake because Earthquake had Jimmy Hart as my ex-manager and everything like that. So, you know, I, you know, I knew I was going to go down. I really didn't care. But when it came up to the point, I was supposed to have like a 12-minute match with him, you know, a decent, long match. So they come up to me and Strombo comes up to me and he goes, we only got about four minutes. I go, well, fuck, this is a fucking jabroni job match going out there you know that's Gets bullshit watched. so yeah squash and i was I, I fucking got really hot and i i said i want to talk to vince and they wouldn't let me talk to vince and and i said it's a bunch of crack of shit and i almost just walked out but instead i went out and they, they ended up giving me about seven or eight minutes i think it ended up being but it was still pretty much a uh, jabroni match. I hated it. And I, right after that, that's when I quit. Now, how did you get into uh, WCW at the time? Um, well, my old partner, and not partner, but my old promoter, Jimmy Crockett, was still, still in there. And uh, I had called him. I let let it lay for a while. I, I laid around for about six months and couldn't stand it anymore. And said I want to get a, try to get a job with them. And then they called me back. Said they were interested. And I went in there. And I think that was ninety. Yeah, it was ninety two or ninety three. Yeah. What were your early impressions with uh, WCW, and how would you compare that locker room to uh, the World Wrestling Federation's? Well, when I went in there, um, they teamed me with Terry Taylor. Who, who was a gem of a guy too, a lot of fun to be around. So I was pretty you know, relaxed with that. But there was a lot of guys in there that I didn't know at the time were on some heavy, heavy contracts. And they were just laying around, weren't even working. So that kind of like, kind of, you know, I'm busting my ass for 700 bucks a night or something. This guy's laying over here making 500,000 a year and not doing nothing. So. You started hearing this kind of stuff, so there's a lot of there's a lot of dissension there. And then Watts came in, and uh, Watts came in and cut everybody's contract even down further, and then gave his kid a hell of a contract that couldn't even tie his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Eric Watts. So I came to TV studio one day, and they wanted me to do a job for Sting on television. And, I went to Dusty and I said, and Dusty was a booker at the time. Watts was a, was the vice president or whatever. And Watts wasn't there that day. I said, Dusty, you know, I mean, this bullshit. And I go out and I'll do a job for Sting on just Sunday, whatever it was, Saturday night tapings or something. And I said, I don't want to do it. He said, well, you, if you don't want to do it, do you want to work? You don't want to work. I said, well, I don't want to work. So I left. That was pretty much it for that yeah. time. Yeah. Now, you also worked for uh, Herb Abrams in the UWF. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on Herb? <laughs> oh, Herb? God. I remember I took my wife up there, too. I was in New York, and we were doing um, a place where Vince was in for a while. Some theater. Manhattan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Almost right across from the garden. Yeah. Right next to the Penn, Penn Hotel. Yeah. And uh, we went in there, and... Did some tapes, tapings. Um, Morocco was there, I remember? Bob Orton Jr. was there. And uh, did some TV tapings, and he paid me pretty good for it and took us all over and partied and stuff in limo. Yeah. And the next day, I went and had a meeting with Vince. I went up there and talked to him and, and got my job back to go back in there. So Herb hears, hears about it and cancels my check so I can't cash it. No. 
And I called him. I said, this check's so good you stopped payment. He goes, well, that's because you went up there and talked to him when you were working for me. I said, that's bullshit. I did my job for you. I can go talk to who I want to. Oh, that asshole. So <laughs> Is he he, basically just a money mark? And so he owes me $2,000 and he's dead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 